Well, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, everyone. Hope you had a great holiday. The pigs have escaped again. <laughs> So yesterday when we were checking the pigs, I noticed there was this big gap at the fence line. So I got some of our old boards and kind of just wedged them in there. And that doesn't look like it's any different. If anything, it looks better. It's the hole's still closed. So I don't think that's where they that one pig escaped. So we got to go hole hunting. Figure out where they got out. I guess there's just one out. Oh, they're they're by the fence. Okay. Oh, there's the piggies. One's over by the fence. Okay. Let's see if we can get them back in. Right here. In the oh, we got them all back in? Yeah. That, that was so fast. Over and walked in. Oh crap, why'd we do a movie? <laughs> it means we can do the rest of our projects too. Well, it's nice to know that the slab is that thick. Hey, check that thing out. Right here, over here. So it looks like we need to put a T-post in at this corner. That'll fix that part. Well, I'm glad they came back as easy as they did. Yeah, so this is the second time they escaped and uh, it's been actually pretty easy to get them back in both times. So count your many blessings, right? While we're here next to the pigs, might as well check the buffalo for any little babies. I'm not holding out much hope actually, but there's always a chance. There is a chance. how it keeps getting higher and higher on the ball because normally the water would be to the crest you'd see kind of the white ball hanging above and it would shut off now it's fully submerged so Ahmed is uh, paying a lot of attention to number 138 he was doing this a couple days ago she's the one that we had the prolapse issue last fall and is we saw her earlier this last week having another prolapse kind of issue. If he's paying this much attention to her, I believe it was a vaginal prolapse before. She's not getting pregnant. She's probably not pregnant now. So we're gonna have to look to see what we do with her. It's either gonna be if we can sell her to somebody, sell her to somebody that has buffalo that just wants to have a pet, or she goes to the slaughter, one of the two. But with all the hay, and the drought and other things going on right now, I don't need to be carrying any more animals than I need. So number three is gonna go and it's just gonna have to be 138. It's a bummer because she looks really good. I liked her, but not much you can do. Well, might as well give him some cubes while we're with the buffalo. So we got our yearlings to two cubes, bags. They are growing. I want to weigh them, but I need to get that handling facility, the alleyway done, which I might be getting close. More dung beetle action. It's looking good, guys. All right, buffalo are taken care of. Now is on to the actual task of the day. We have, as you can see, 2,000 feet of one and a quarter inch PVC. We got this a couple days ago. 
we need to run some water lines. You know we've been taking care of the yearlings where we were just at. And they need to have water there that can be accessible through the rain tanks right over here. So that's a long way to trench. It's probably going to be about a thousand feet. And we also need to get some other pastures and everywhere and down over here the two and a half acres all sorts of stuff well the best thing about today or doing it right now is we're getting electric in as well the electric people have been digging these lines and so this is a trench that comes along here and it'll run over to the electrical boxes sitting way back over there and so they're still doing all these things they've already gotten it kind of underneath the concrete for the sidewalks so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to share some of this now this line here is going to go over to the pavilion, uh, whatever you call it, a box in the pavilion right by the hay, you'll see it. And then they dug a separate trench over to the well house area, so that way we can have it all off of the well. It's on the other side of the truck. So we're going to share a part of that. We already had a trench dug out by the well house to get the water over to those 10,000 gallon tanks. We're going to come along, pigeon ourselves join up with them here and then we're going to break off into this little trench line and that's where the inlet is to the big big house we already have a trench here that was dug by my son talmage this last winter and he found the water line since we've had some rain it's actually kind of filled back in some so i can't even show it to you i've got to go find it but we're going to tee off branch and come on over here leave it a dead end and we're going to have water that's pumped from the well all the way up here to this big building. We're not moving into it yet. We don't know what we're doing yet, but we do know where the inlet pipe is. So we're going to go ahead and eventually tie it up. I might just cap it for now, but that's another day, another story. In the meantime, all this electric should be ran within the next week or so. So we're, we're super hopeful about that, but they're going to be filling in all these trenches, and so I need to get these things in here in the next couple days, so that way they can fill them all in. Oh, and uh, word of the wise, make sure when you start doing all your trench work that you don't cut off access to what you need. Luckily we didn't, but we need to get hay to the buffalo, and there's only one route to them now. Alright, so we have, each of these are 20 feet long, they already have at the very back side, well don't look at that one. They already have the bell on them. So, you know, if you go to Home Depots or Lowe's, and this is my mistake the first time I did all the troughs for six and seven, they're each 10 feet long, and then you gotta buy the fitting and attach them and everything else like that. Only come to find out later is like, oh my gosh, really? You can buy them in 20 foot lengths and already have the fitting on the end of it. So it's a lot simpler. If you're gonna do something large scale, long distances, just opt for these. Don't go to Home Depot or Lowe's. Find them somewhere else. But. She's gonna drop them over there and then we gotta drop. I, I think we need about four and a half bundles because it's about a 500 foot spread. About ish. You can grab one end if you want. Duncan, you wanna grab this end and walk with him? Yeah. Hey, Doug. Walk. Let's go to my truck. Left, Chica, left. Now it's time to start laying and gluing. Can you hold off for a second? Sure. There's a spot we may need to use some fittings, and we've used one and a quarter inch pipe before, and so we thought, well, let's just go look for a fitting and see if we can find one. And in the meantime, we remember to bring these big jars, plastic, animal cracker, and cheese, cheese balls. And so instead of storing everything in bags in a mess here, we're going to try and separate them out while we can. In the meantime, we're going to look for a one and a quarter fitting to maybe help on some of these ends. We either need a 90s, it would be nice to have a 90 or a 45. So let's separate.
We've got all these done. This is one inch. We haven't separated them out by type of fitting, but these are all of our three quarters. One inch. We have a lot of four inch pipe when we did all the gutters for the rain. So we're gonna leave those in here with the one and a half. We had two one and a half inch fittings. I'm not gonna put it all in there. But then this is just for transition pieces. So mainly going down to three quarter, I think, for a lot of it. So anyway, we didn't find anything that we were actually looking for. So we're gonna improvise and make do. But it's nice to be organized. Suck. Okay. That white pipe is the pipe that goes to the tanks. And we're gonna use the same old trench sitting down here. And as you look at the trench, you can see that it's filled in and there's a bunch of spots. To save me having to go through and clear out the entire trench, we're gonna lay the pipe and come back later with a shovel and kind of dig out where we need to to kind of make it sure that it's down. And I don't have to clean out the entire thing. In North Texas, I mean, even that huge freeze that we got last year, it didn't freeze any of the other pipes I had in here and uh, that were buried. Crap, it didn't even freeze the tanks, but you know, it's not gonna get that bad. And if it does, you better start praying because an apocalypse is happening. But if we're a foot down, I'm fine. There's some parts that gets a little shallow. So we're gonna dig it out later after I know where the pipe goes. But now let's just lay a pipe and get moving. Ooh, that was a stick. All right. Right now, since I don't have those fittings, I'm gonna run it long here so it'll give me enough room to come up and over. And we're just gonna keep on going. This will drop eventually. But if we hurry up and do this, and we can get these pipes done over here, I can start filling the trench in after, of course, we make sure it's buried far enough. Pumpkin! Daddy! I got a park! Okay, dog, just get up and over. Get out of the you trench. You can make it. Get me another glue. Somebody go get me another glue. Oh, he got stuck! Here, hold this one and take, put the other one down. Oh, total suck obus. Let's see what happens. Suck on that! Woohoo! He's stuck. He just died. <laughs> He's crawling out! Yeah, He's crawling out! He's crawling out! Oh, you that's, see him? That's freaky. He won't get out of that entrapment. No. This thing for the end part in the dirt. You won't need it. No other dogs. No fossils. You got a pipe ring. Lust for today. Do not get dirt in the end. end. You good? You're out. How's that? Easier. Here we go. You ready? Mm. 
I'm fat. <laughs> you want daddy? This is a loose dirt. Don't sit on the edge. Don't sit on the edge. So we're going to test this because we're right up against that sidewalk. How close are you to the sidewalk? Um, half of that. Okay, so we're actually going to glue this to the next pipe and then slide them through and then glue this one down here so we're not in the trench with all the dirt. Uh, yeah. Like your own personal cave down there. Yes. I want to go see it. It's a little hole. But the pipe should fit through. Oh, you make this one? You make this one? Uh, Alright. Be ready to receive it. Where's my hole? Okay. Push through. Okay, pull it through. Let me know when. Stop. Alright, Bug, help me out. She didn't go in the hole. No. We might be able to do it without it. It's going to be snug, but I think we can do it. Wow. I say we attach it straight, then we're going to lift it up and over and bend. Now let's go ahead and bend it. Right, Would you like to do the much. honors, Mari? Just tear out the whole ditch while we're at it. I can't lift it. The whole <laughs> entire pipe. I think we can give her some help. I only have glue. Gotta come down. I'm a glue dude. Oh, that hurt. Don't, don't do it. Wow. Good job, babe. Work it, work it, baby. Daddy was smart. Who knew, right? <laughs> all right, last pipe, and then we are all the way to that original dugout spot. We are not necessarily in line with a water main that goes underneath the concrete, but we'll elbow it or something. We've got to find it somewhere. We've got to redig it out. Now there's these two big gray conduits. These guys are the conduit that fed the three slabs on the far side. So it came out from up there, did a 90 at some point, and then went straight out all the way to there. We're just going to lay right across the top of it and maybe we should get underneath this other guy while we're at it. But anyway, last pipe. All right, Chica, put the bag on the end. Tie her up. All right, we're back to fix our pig area. Oh, the buffalo decided to come check us out. I think we're going to feed him cubes. Uh, not... Hi, Mary! Oh, Hi, Ahmed. Okay. How you doing, big boy? The bottom of that building we're not attached to, so this is going to give us that stability right there. They're walking on the sidewalk. So it's like they have, like, tap shoes on. Yeah. Why well, use the manual one when you got the gas, even though it is one thing. just one T-post. Clips, Clark. Oh. All right, we're gonna go check out the trench that's next to the house. Make sure everything looks good there. I think what I want to do is also lay some pipe there and get that all sorted out so we can share that trench because we want to get water to the little house as well 
and their trench is one third of the way through almost or a quarter of the way to where we need to go so why not share it so this is that trench and he's already dug it and it goes out towards the gas tank now this is maybe only a quarter of the way that we need to go or less but still it's it's dug and i don't have to dig it later now actually behind us over here this is the water main box so this is the water main that pops up over into the little house here and our goal here is we just want to lay the pipe and i'm not going to get it all dug up because we've got all the concrete here but if I can locate the pipe somewhere that I know where it would be, then, then no big deal. I can dig it up later. So if I came straight from there, I would go right there. And so I'm going to put the tip of mine right here, and we're just going to lay it all the way down there. These, these shouldn't be that much. We've probably only got four pieces or five pieces at best. While we're doing this pipe, it's good to kind of understand what we're doing. We're actually going to end up with two lines coming this direction. We've got the clean water, pressure water from the well coming to the little house. And that's the line we're prepping right now. But eventually, actually, the real pipe we need to run coming from the 10,000 gallons for the animals. So we're going to have to have a whole separate line coming and then going around the little house and then out to the pastures for the yearlings and for the handling facility and for other pastures over in that direction, pastures five and four. So we're gonna have two lines, one's for the animals and one's for the house. Okay, with all the digging that happened today, um, there are these chunks of concrete and we're like, wow, what are they digging up over there? Because our sidewalk we kind of wanted intact and they've been just kind of digging at the level of the sidewalk to poke under, so none of the normal sidewalks have been messed up. Now, come to find out, we've got some cement we didn't know about. So you can see this clean line here. That's the sidewalk. And the broken piece was more cement. So where does that end? It's all covered in dirt. It's really hard to tell that any of this would have been cement. So that's, it probably extended over here, which is why they dug it up. It was in the way. And goodness, we didn't even know it was there. All right guys, fun day. So we got everything done that I think that we wanted to today. We're gonna leave it as it is and uh, wait for the electricians to get all their pipes in and then get things buried. Um, next step, of course, is doing a bunch of trenching on our own so that way we can get water to the pastures for the yearlings, which are actually behind us. And then uh, we won't have to be maybe coming out here all the time. So anyway, keep with us. Thanks for joining along. We'll catch you next time. Like and subscribe, please. Thanks, bye.